the Land Transport Authority is rolling out a new device to help detect illegal changes to vehicle exhaust systems. Officers will use this technology to help them inspect undercarriages for unapproved modifications that can put people at risk. Claudia Lim tells us more. This little device runs under cars. It carries a light and camera to check for changes made to exhaust systems. The video is then fed in real time to officers via their mobile devices. The Land Transport Authority will start deploying the technology later this month. We are trying to look out for any uh, cut marks, any welding marks, any, uh, any things that are not um, not approved by LTA. La. So it could be based on the photos that we take from the device, comparing to what we have in our system. If, it's, uh, if it does not match, which means it's a possible uh, modification. LTA says tampering with exhaust systems is a serious offence, as it may affect the durability and reliability of a vehicle. This can be a safety risk to drivers and other road users. Unapproved changes that affect noise levels and exhaust emissions can also be environmental hazards. It's about safety. If it's not approved, there must be a reason why it's not approved and why we do not allow it on the road. It allows us to do the checks quicker, faster, more efficient and we don't have to spend too much time checking on the vehicles. The device will also make these inspections safer and more efficient for LTA officers who currently have to bend down to manually check under the cars. LTA says this can take up to 30 minutes and exposes officers to potential hazards on the ground. The brains behind the project, the Masik Polytechnic's graduate, Mohammed Hazik Roslan and his lecturer Peter Lim. I learned that all these officers, they had to struggle, had to do a lot of things, even in dangerous situations. So it's good that uh, this project, while I, I building it, I, I'm hoping that this can benefit them, doing, uh, making it more safer. LTA plans to deploy the first batch of four devices this month before adding another 10 to its fleet by the end of the year.